this desk. Alright, so it's been a while. I haven't made a video since uh, last year. Hope you guys enjoyed your holiday season. Originally, I wanted to get out this particular video before the end of the year for 2021. Unfortunately, I got sick. And I'm still sick right now. I'm Actually, I'm on the end of recovering from this cold or whatever. Sorry if you heard the Discord noise. I got sick pretty much like right after Christmas and then a week passed and then I got like unsick. Three days later, I got sick again, so welcome to my life. So I wanted to get caught up on my figure backlog by the end of 2021, but I guess we're kicking off 2022 with opening these figures, finally. Because these have been in the figure boxes for, I, I want to say, like, at least a year. Some of them maybe even over a year. I haven't actually checked the release dates for these things, but we'll just have to see. 2021 was a pretty quick year. I didn't actually hit my goal of getting 70,000 subscribers. I was pretty close though. I, I made it to like 67,000. If I wasn't such a lazy piece of crap and I uploaded more consistently, I definitely probably would have hit the goal. Uh, my goal for 2022, 70,000 subscribers. All right, so first figure up is Kurisu. This is from Wave, I think. Yeah, Wave Corporation. This is part of their Dream Tech series line. Next figure we have here is Kasumi from Persona 5R. Should I call her Yoshizawa instead? This is made by Mega House, yeah. And then last up we have here is Saber Alter. Kimoto version by uh, Kadokawa, I think, yeah. You might be asking how the hell did I go a, a year without opening a Saber Alter box for crying out loud, but, but yeah, trust me guys, I'm not the type of collector who buys figures and then keeps them in the box forever. Well. Until now, let's start off with Kurusu. Fun fact, I don't know if you guys know this, but Steins Gate is my favorite anime of all time. Contrary to popular belief, a lot of you guys might think Fate is, because I buy the most stuff from Fate. Well, you're wrong. All right, so, holy crap, finally opening this thing up. Let's see what's up in this. I did have an initial complaint about this figure when I first got this in. No irregulations that I can see. Is the head removable? What is this, a Figma? A Nendroid? Why is it like so tight on there? What is going on? Hair piece falls off like a Nendroid. So it is the face plate. Can I get this thing off? Holy crap. Yeah, it's got a ball headed joint. Interesting. You can actually move the head around. That's uh, that's interesting. That's my first time seeing that on a scale figure before. But then again, this is part of Wave's Dream Tech series line. So maybe they're supposed to be slightly movable and posable. All right, here's the base. This one's actually pretty cool. I like the base design that they went for with this. It's like the lab member pin. That's pretty sick. Okay. Goes on like this. She does come with two extra face plates. One with her mouth slightly open, and then the other one with a kind of a little bit of a frowning face. What are these? Wait, what are these? Do these go on the base? I don't know what these little gold things are. Oh, they go on the base. Yeah, that makes sense. There you go, that is Kurisu. Uh, overall impressions, she's not bad. Relatively simple figure. I probably wouldn't spend anything over like a hundred bucks for her though, if I'm gonna be 
completely honest here. I mean, it's not like super detailed, but then again, her outfit and everything, it's pretty s simple, right? Nothing too crazy going on. The one thing I probably don't like about the figure is the fact that her hair is a little bit translucent at the ends, and I feel like it just doesn't have enough... Like, if I compare her to, like, the actual pictures, uh, I feel like it's a little bit more, like, uh, a little bit more red her hair in the photos than it is in real life. But it, it's, it's fine. Actually might end up swapping the faceplate real quick here just cause I think I like the other one better. Yeah, that looks better. I like it when she actually has like a, a much more expressive expression. <laughs> okay. Persona 5. If you haven't played Persona 5 and you're a huge JRPG fan, you definitely should. It's one of the games that made me feel like I actually had some good friends. <laughs> I haven't actually seen what the base looks like. I actually like the design. Oh, it does come with some instructions too. Nice. Alright, so I haven't actually made up my mind on how I'm going to display this one because you can display here with the mask. The mask slightly tilted or just, you know, completely off. Here's the base. Not too bad. I actually like this. It's got like a, it's transparent, it's got a crystal design on it. I think the anatomy looks kind of weird here if you just look at it straight on. Sculpt is generally pretty good. The face is a little bit weird. Although, if you look at it at the right angle, it doesn't look that weird. But if you look at it straight on, it's honestly kind of creepy a little bit. Alright, let me... Alright, put her on the base like that. And grab the sword. Hopefully, I can stick this in with no problems. Otherwise, I'm going to have a major issue. Oh, yeah. So, she, she's got a faceplate with the, the face mask on it. And then she has another arm that has the face mask yeah you can pull this out and then you can just put this on i'm going to assume yeah there you go that is the figure not too bad cost me yoshi's oh from soda 5 by mega house now I don't know why, but this one actually has a, a decent amount of weight to it. How much did I pick this one up for? Don't know. Release date. Here you go. It's been in the box for that long. <laughs> oh, that thing's stuck in there. This thing's pretty heavy. Why did Kadokawa make the base so fat? Here's the base. It's a big plastic circle. You got some... I don't even know what design to call this. Squares? Sparklers? Who knows? I would have said flowers, but they don't look like flowers. What scale was this? One seventh? Feels like a one, one sixth. I don't know if you can tell by the look on my face right now, but this thing is, this thing's got some weight. One of my friends asked me what was my most heaviest figure, and I told them it was probably my the 15th Fate uh, anniversary figure. This is definitely a contender. She's honestly very solid, extremely well built. I absolutely love the kimono. Oh my god, this the, the detail and the quality of the flowers on on her dress right here is absolutely insane. This thing's fantastic. Oh my gosh, she looks fantastic. She is one heavy, heavy girl though. From the looks of it, you just get two pegs for her one foot. I have no idea where the heck I'm gonna put this thing now. And then you obviously get the umbrella. Now how exactly, do you rest this thing on her dress? There's no like pegs or anything. So I'm going to assume this is how the figure is supposed to go. I'm gonna say this right now, whatever I pay for it, uh, I think she was well worth the price. I have this one guy who doesn't like buying figures from Katakawa, but uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, this one's absolutely fantastic. Probably like one of the most solid like feeling figures I've ever had. All right, well, that is pretty much it for my figure backlog. There is one more Figma I can actually open, but 
I'm probably never gonna open it. Now, just one last thing. Thank you to Bakuretsu for sponsoring my sick ass today. If you don't know what Bakuretsu is, they are a clothing brand that designs minimal aesthetic anime shirts for you anime fans to wear. In fact, I'm wearing one of their shirts right now. This is their latest design, the Ara Ara shirt. Uh, it says that in Japanese, I, I would assume, since on the website, that's what it says. <laughs> Legitimately, their shirts are probably the, one of the most comfortable shirts I actually wear. Uh, so yeah, you can head over to the link in the description or th just type this thing out on screen right now, you know. And you can also use my coupon code KENKEN for a small discount on your purchase. Yeah, once again, thank you to Bakuretsu for sponsoring this sick-ass video. <laughs> I'm still waiting on one more package before we do the next haul video for 2022, or the first haul video for 2022, I should say. I have about five shipping boxes in the hallway that's just sitting there waiting for me to open all the stuff that's in them. I'm waiting on one more box. Sucks. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Special thanks to my patrons, Seswat, Beast, Kawais, Ralku, Malahat, Tiso, Gentia, Fritz, Ren, Toxic, Breaking 2, Order Kitsune, and ZZZ.